going on everybody it's Alex here from PI Paintball and AG Paintball and I have right here with me the newly released Empire Mini GS uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick look at the Mini GS uh, we're gonna go through some of the features some of the new stuff they added that's on top of the regular Mini um, I do have a regular Empire Mini right here to compare everything to um, so we're not gonna we're not gonna be shooting it or anything um, but basically I just wanted to do like a little comprehensive uh, video of all the features and uh, what the extra $50 uh, over a regular mini is actually going to get you uh, in terms of what you're paying for on the gun. Um, <clears throat> uh, so just quick gloss overview. Uh, the regular minis right now are still at $325 and the mini GS is currently set at $375 so it's an extra 50 bucks and um, you know if you if you really like the mini and you uh, you want to stay with the mini and if you're not looking at anything else in that price point and that's what you want as a mini um, I think that extra $50 uh, you know is not really a lot for uh, what's coming with this new gun I think I think it's a very fair price I think it's a, a, a good price for the stuff that's coming on the gun and I think they did a lot of good they did a good job with it and um, so uh, let's uh, let's just crack this thing open uh, this is the box it comes in uh, no more does it have a two-piece box like the axe but with this plastic sleeve that's kind of personally I think a pain in the ass and the thing falls apart like 8,000 times and you know it, I think it's just the little plastic sleeve is just a pain in the ass it was a bad idea looks cool on the box and stuff like that but uh, excuse me I just had something in my eye um, it looks cool but uh, just really fucking annoying um, uh, so this is uh, this is the new box, just a uh, two-piece box. You undo it. There goes the paper manual. Uh, so just like all the uh, all the other Empire guns, um, well, Key Action Sports. So that covers uh, the BTs as well as uh, Empire and JT guns. Uh, on paper, you get a quick start manual, basically just to uh, get you up and running real quick and uh, show you the basics and stuff like that. You know, not not a whole lot going on with that, but that's that's the whole point. It's just supposed to be a quick start manual. So as we take off the box, first layer of foam. Take out the actual gun here. Put that right here just for a second. Second layer of foam. Uh, same Empire barrel bag. We have the barrel, which we can take out. Put right there. Uh, looks to me like the uh, the same parts kit that the mini come, the regular mini comes with. Uh, you got some O-rings, uh, replacement screws, lube, uh, detents and detent springs, two Allen keys because that's all you need for this gun. It's small, but it uh, it covers everything, and uh, that appears to be it. So packaging wise, same as the mini. It's not really the it's not really the selling point for me on a gun anyway, but uh, it's definitely better than the old mini box if it's you know for what it's worth for you. So let's throw this barrel on real quick. Apologize for that. That's really scratchy and annoying. Sorry. Um, all right. So here it is, the uh, Mini GS. Let's see if we can get the whole thing in the frame. There we go, Mini GS. Um, so right away, let's just go over the differences. Uh, one, the body and the barrel are milled differently. Um, the body is really like it's kind of like a like a slim fit kind of deal. They basically milled down almost everything on the body that wasn't super necessary. Uh, so the body is really thin and slim. You can see right there, like that's the entire end cap right here, and there's no extra body around it, like whatsoever. Um, it's really cool, slimmer profile, smaller profile. Um, you know, lighter overall. They definitely did a good trim job on it. Uh, the feed neck is no longer the same as the old mini. 
This feed neck style is basically the same feed neck they've been using on the Empire Sniper. Uh, it's a lot more sturdy. It's a lot less prone to snapping off, which I've actually seen a couple times. Um, it's a lot less prone to get your hopper really stuck in it so tight. And then when you go to take your hopper off, sometimes you know you kind of twist it to work it out of the feed neck. Uh, I saw a lot of the times on like minis and axes it actually untwists the feed neck uh, from the body. Uh, so no longer any problems with that. Um, still have the uh, lever lock on it. Uh, detents are the same. Uh, the barrel, I believe, is the same barrel. Let's just look at length. Yeah, it's the same exact barrel. It's just milled a little bit differently. It's still one piece. Uh, so obviously, big things besides the diet milling um, that you can see rubber. Rubber grips everywhere. So much better than the Mini or the Axe, in my opinion. Um, over molded rubber grip, big rubber foregrip. It's actually a big giant wrap around thing. This is all one continuous piece all the way around except for the back. So it's almost like you take these four screws off and this whole rubber thing would just like slide off right like that. It's like a big rubber cover. Um, it, I think these, these finger grooves in the front are really deep and that's not really how I hold, I, I hold my guns up here, but it, you know, it's all personal preference. Um, but the rubber feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. It, does, it feels grippy, but it doesn't feel like it's going to, you know, rot away and break down after two months of play or if it starts getting paint and dirt on it or anything like that. It feels really solid and sturdy. It feels really good. And it's the same rubber for the, uh, for the grips here. Um, you know, it's nice. It's, it's sticky, but it's not crappy. Um, it's kind of like the, the rubber from like a die ultra light frame or something like that. Vice, the little, the really flimsy rubber grips that came, that come on the, the regular mini. They're super thin. It's very smooth, unlike this, which is really sticky. You can actually hear that on this. You can actually hear that. It's nice and smooth. So you, there's actually no grip there, really. I mean, basically, they're just there so you're not actually just grabbing metal. I don't think they actually serve the purpose of grips, in my opinion. Um, so, you know, just holding a regular mini and holding this is like night and day. This is just so much better. Um, moving on, uh, the uh, the trigger. The old mini, there's no, there's not, there's nothing there. It's completely the, uh, the electromagnet that's up here is, so there's, there's no resistance to the trigger, which I like resistance on my triggers. There's absolutely none. It, does, it doesn't feel like I'm pulling anything. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. On this, yeah, there you go. We're back to a micro switch, thankfully. So much better. There's resistance on it. Um, you do have uh, resistance magnets there. Um, I'm not quite sure if they integrated a spring into it. Kind of feels like they did, but man, that trigger feels so much better. Thank you, Empire, for finally putting a micro switch on the Mini. Um, just way better trigger. Uh, down bottom, Mini GS actually comes with an on-off ASA, as you can see right there. And this is not the relay ASA that comes on the Axe. This is that really nice ASA that comes on the Empire Vanquish. That's a $1,500 gun for you guys who aren't super familiar with the Vanquish. So it's Empire's flagship gun right now. Uh, Infamous, the professional team, is shooting the Vanquish right now. Um, I believe Vicious is still shooting Axis, but Infamous is shooting the Vanquish. It goes for $1,500. It's a very nice gun. And this has the same exact ASA that the Vanquish has. So it's got this little lever style on off. And what's really great about this on off, the Vanquish on off in particular, I'm just going to refer to it as the Vanquish on off from now on, just so you don't get confused. Um, what's really nice about this Vanquish on off is that turning the lever on or off has the same resistance both times. If you know, with an axe, you have the little flip thing, and you know it's not too hard turning it on. But when there's a tank on there, and you go to flip that switch and there's air in there. You know how it flips off really violently and you can actually like catch yourself, you can like catch your fingers and it'll snap you and it actually hurts, like it really just whips open. 
So this one doesn't do that. It's under constant pressure, so turning it off is just, when even when there's a tank on here full of air, is just like turning it on. There's no resistance. It's gonna be the same smooth fluid motion. There's no snapping or nothing, which is, you know, something really small and seems really dumb, but it's really cool. It's just that small creature comfort stuff, you know? It just makes you feel better about the gun. Uh, so, basically moving on, um, because the foregrip and the rubber have changed, um, the back panel for the board where the button is and where the LED is has also changed. So this, uh, let's see if we can get in the frame here. This whole square right here is all rubber. This button, it's very protruding and it's super easy to push now. You know, with the old mini, the button's almost kind of recessed and it's kind of a pain to push. This one is really nice and easy. Very light to be able to push. Feels nice because it's a rubber nub button instead of an actual plastic button that you're pushing onto the board. Feels really nice. So uh, that's about it for the differences. So basically what you're actually paying for is diet milling on the body. Um, a better upgraded feed neck in my opinion. Um, the over molded rubber grips and the redesign of the foregrip with the better on off button and stuff. Um, obviously the grips in the back. The on off ASA is huge. Even the relay on off ASA if you have a regular mini and you buy the relay on off that comes with the axe that's sold separately. I think that goes for upwards of like $80 I think. So I mean, just just alone, buying a Mini GS over a regular Mini, just to get it on and off, you're already saving money. You're only spending 50 extra dollars, or you can buy a Mini and buy the Relay and spend an extra $80. So on top of that, saving $30 automatically, just having the on and off, you get the better feed neck, you get the diet milling, you get the lighter gun, you get the over-molded rubber grips, you get the better foregrip, you get the better trigger. That's That's way more than $50 in my opinion. Um, so just looking at them real quick to compare the two side by side. Let's see if we can turn these around so you guys can actually see how slim they've actually made the body. Get that little feed neck jargon out of the way. So if we hold them side by side, if I can line this up on the camera, right? There you go. Maybe, can you see that? It looks like it's coming through. So can you actually see how the Mini GS, which is uh, in the frame right now, it's the one on the left. The Mini GS is, the body is very much thinner um, than the regular Mini. Um, even just even just looking at them side by side, you can tell that the Mini GS is just a smaller gun. Um, you know, to me personally, I think it looks a lot cooler. The other benefit to having this back cap style, see how the uh, the body is actually milled out, so you have like these little cuts right here. Um, so the way to get the bolt out is the same deal, you have this locking screw on the bottom right there. Uh, same with the regular mini. But the regular mini you take that out and a lot of times because of the grease and stuff that's on the bolt system, um, what you would have to do is basically like get your fingernails in between this back cap and the body and you'd have to pry. And it was really, it was really annoying because, you know, I don't, um, from teching all the time and stuff like at the park, uh, a lot of times my fingernails get destroyed. Um, so a lot of times I don't have like super long fingernails and I can't get at that with this, the Mini GS, you know, these cuts in the side and the body and stuff like that. You just put your fingers on either side right here and there's, uh, there's a little lip on this back cap. So it's not completely just smooth. There's a big lip right there all around. You can just pull as soon as that's out. So that's that's really super nice. So this is actually still brand new out of the box. I'm actually going to try just unscrewing this and pulling this out just to see how simple it is. If we put this mini aside, mini GS. I'm going to have to tighten down the screw so this feed neck lever isn't flapping all over the place too. Grab some Allen keys. Hopefully I grabbed the right size, which I did. So let's just tighten this down first. Because that's just super annoying having that feed neck screw just like flapping everywhere. 
There we go. Alright, so let's find the right size to get this out. Hopefully, I think it's the same as Allen key. Which it is, it's very nice. So now I'm just gonna be really careful on screwing this because this is still new. Um in case you were wondering and saying, well, it's not new in a box anymore and stuff like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being a physical store, getting all these getting all the new guns and stuff like that, um I tend to actually take them out of the box. Uh, for the most part, I do put a tank on and I air it up to make sure there are no leaks and I dry fire it a very small amount of time to ensure that the gun actually works before I'm willing to sell it. Because too many times I've had guns out of the box that do not work and customers don't get happy when their brand new gun that's sealed in the box doesn't work. Because um, even if it's sealed in the box, they automatically come back and it's our fault, um, which I have no control over. But that way I can quality check all the product that comes into the shop and all the guns and I can ensure that they work. And that's my thing. I don't shoot any paint through them. Put a tank on very gently, very easily. Turn the marker on. Dry fire it a couple times. Take the tank off. Vent the air. Turn the marker back off, and it either goes on the wall, on the gun wall right there, or goes back in the box, and that's it. My thing with that, I just want to ensure that my products work. You know, as much quality control as there is, sometimes guns just leak and don't work out of the box. Leaking is worse, because then I have to rip the thing apart and see if I can fix the leak. Because uh, a lot of times it's a lot easier than sending it back to the company or something like that. But that's what I do. Peg me for it, you know. Every customer that walks out of my shop with a gun walks out with a working gun, and they know it, and they're happy about it. So that's what I have. Um, so we took that screw out. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to pull this out, which I would assume it's going to be a little bit stiff since it's brand new, which it is very much so. There it goes. So it's definitely stiff because it's still got that factory grease, which, God, it feels like I'm touching honey. That's gross, you know? So it definitely is really stiff, but again, that's that factory grease. I would assume once you start using it, and especially if you start putting a, like a different grease or something on it, it's going to get really nice and smooth in and out every time. Uh, yeah, this stuff is, oh, it's like touching honey. That's really, oh, it's really sticky. You can just see how sticky that was it you know it took a little bit of force um, but there you go there's the internals there's the bolt guide and there's the bolt the springs inside um, it's the same as the other mini uh, they didn't change that at all uh, they just milled down this whole back cap section so let's go ahead and pop this back in line up the little nubbin on the bottom Right there. See, look at that. It's so sticky. I pushed it all the way in and it's not even coming back out. That's kind of nasty, isn't it? Um, but just like any other mini or axe, after a little bit of use, I'm sure it'll just become nice and smooth in and out every time. So let's just put this locking screw back in. If I could actually hold on to my Allen wrench. I think my Allen wrenches are getting pretty old. They're just kind of stripped, so a lot of the ball sockets on the end of these things just don't do anything anymore. Time to go buy new wrenches. So, as I do this, I'm going to sit here and silence like an idiot. Um, you know, 50 extra dollars, $375 over $325, not even looking at other guns in that price category. You know, an extra $50. Gets you that better feed neck, the grips, the overmolded grips, the redesigned foregrip, the way better trigger, and the Vanquish on off ASA. I mean, even separately, like the upgraded Empire feed neck is like what, like 30 bucks on its own? Grips like this, like you can't even get those. You'd have to like do something or make them or, you know, maybe get the exalt grip skins for the axe or something like that. That's still like 15, 20 bucks. Uh, 
the trigger, the way better trigger. First of all, you're not gonna get a micro switch in here, so that just can't happen. But you know, a better trigger than the stock mini trigger, you're, you're you know, that's like thirty something dollars. ASA, the relay ASA is the only way to, the only thing you can do right now for the the regular mini, and that's eighty bucks, fifty extra dollars, and you're getting all this stuff. That's a solid deal. You know, these are great little shooters to begin with. Um, you know, the mini's been out for a long time, and they're pretty proven. They're on V3 right now. This, if you want to call the Mini GS a version of the regular Mini, this would be V4. Um, you know, they don't have any problems anymore. Really, they've worked everything out. Um, Fifty extra dollars, I think that's a that's a steal for this thing. You know, just looking at comparison between the two Minis. Now, there should be no question why you would not want to buy one of these over a regular Mini, in my eyes, anyway. Um, so basically, that's uh, that's my that's my thoughts on it. Um, I am gonna put a tank on this real quick. I just want to see how it feels. Maybe I will put a rotor on there too if I didn't tighten that down too much. Nope, I didn't. That slides in quite nice. So you go. There's the Mini GS with a rotor on it. If you want to see what that kind of looks like, good profile, I think. Not too tall. And then like that, let's clamp it down. Yeah, that's not tight at all, so that's not going anywhere. Nice profile. Uh, so I'm gonna put a tank on here real quick just because I wanna see what it feels like. And what I have is uh, my personal tank right here. Um, you don't have to worry about the threads being all jacked up or anything. Uh, this is a brand new rig I just put on my personal tank. My personal tank right here, um, this is the old style Gorilla 4845. So the new style Gorilla ones are, um, I think they're a tiny bit longer. Uh, the new style Gorilla 48s are a tiny bit longer and a little thinner. This is the older style where the bottle itself is a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter. But I do have a Ninja Pro Reg on here. Again, this is brand new, so the threads are really nice. Um, I do have a Ninja Pro Reg on here, which for me, because the Myth Reg, it was almost too short. Cause like I'm pretty short. I'm 5'3", and my arm reach isn't super long. But you know, with a myth reg that only came out to here, that was pretty short. Um, so it finally bit the dust. I'd have enough with myth regs. Uh, I love ninja regs. Um, so I put a ninja pro reg on here, and man, this thing is just the right length. It's really nice. So I'm gonna do this properly without any complication. Yeah, nice and smooth, brand new rig. That's kind of nice. So, there you go. There's a Mini GS. If I can back this up so it gets all the way in the frame. There's a Mini GS with a rotor and a uh, 48 tank on it. 45 tank. So with this Pro Rig, it kind of makes it the same length as any other 45 tank that you're going to really find. Um, so there you go. There's the uh, the whole setup, rotor and tank. Um, nice and light. Feels Feels pretty good. The weight feels balanced. Let's see if I can find the balance point. Oh yeah, right. See, right there, right under the back bolt. That's great. That's perfect balance. That's really what you want. Um, so there's really looking at the length of the tank and the reg. If anybody is interested or anything like that, go ahead and shoulder this. That actually feels really good to me. Um, yeah, that's actually quite impressive with this rubber grips and stuff like that. Because you know. You're backing it into your your shoulder and stuff with the tank, so you kind of put pressure like here, coming backwards to like hold it there. That rubber grip feels really nice. Wow, that really does. That feels really solid. I think put a upgrade the barrel, put a solid barrel on here. You know, you don't even need a halo. You, you know, a rotor, you use a halo two or something like that. But like good forty five tank. You know, I don't I don't want to go super big with it. Good forty five tank and a nice barrel. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really digging this setup. This is a really nice setup. Um, if not for a primary, for somebody who's just getting into their first or second electronic gun, this would be a really solid backup for a lot of tournament players, I think. You know, because you don't have $1,000 to go buy a super nice high-end backup. Grab one of these. It's guaranteed to shoot. You you know, you know it's going to shoot. Um, it's a mini, but it's going to shoot. You know, you're gonna go out there, it feels good, it's nice and compact setup. Yeah, it's not too long. I think I think with the overmolded rubber foregrips, they kinda of bring the foregrip out a little bit more than the regular mini. 
uh, I think it's not too short either. It feels really nice. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I got. That's my take on the uh, the brand new Empire Mini GS. Uh, these are available online now. Uh, you can go get them anywhere, or uh, or through us at AG Paintball. Uh, we have them in stock. I have two of the colors right now. I have the other one coming very very soon. I have this navy blue and silver in stock, as well as the uh, the black and silver with the little yellow stripe right there. I have that one in stock as well, and I have the third one coming in very, very soon. So, uh, there it is, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. That's my take on the Empire Mini GS, and I will see you guys later.